Hi and welcome to this channel. So today I will take us on how we can or zip files to our data directory no matter the android version it works on every android version so even though you have target your api level is 31 which is now the compulsory api level for android for android to upload to upload android apps on play store this project will work on all devices i can show you that it will be tested and toasted across even tested on android 12 devices so if you use android 11 it's even a piece of case a, cake, a piece of cake, I can see that only. So now let's do this in schedule. First thing we do is we create an empty project, right? Create an empty project. So it have an empty project being created. We add, we add our button. We add this button. When I added the button, the next thing we do, I name it big file. This is just for sample sake then we come to our component section pick i name my pick i named my pick so the name type should be if it's only a zip file then this should be the main type so that it will pick only zip files the files that end with dot zip But if it's any type of file you want to copy to data directory then what you do is you set it as this so this will pick any file and like you can see the first one is any file the other one is only zip files you can pick so the next thing we do when the button is clicked when the button is clicked we are going to launch the picker activity so to launch the picker activity what we do is we come here click component select this and select the first one is to pick any files the second one is to pick only the files so for example sake i'm only picking all files all files pick so we come here click on components click on this far button then we select on files picked so now when the files have been picked so now we are selecting on file speak for all type speaker. So for all type speaker on file speak. So now I added a string called output parts. That's where I'm saving it. Then I now select output parts by dragging this box here. Then I search operator and I come here join and join and then I click on file get package directory then join it with a slash the slash then i added this code for converting for getting the uri so now we are going to unzip so now in our more blog added this code in our more blog so if you're adding it to a new project, you need to add this more block code to your project. You add this code, then you add this right, right block here yeah, for right permissions. The next thing is on file speak, added a dialog, a progress, a progress to show that. So why the things on zipping the files is to be loading to be loading if it's a big file it will load longer it's a very small file you may not even see the progress the progress bar so when the progress has been unzipped we set the visibility to gone by using this block we set visibility to gone by using this block but when it's been loading so this is what happens it happens here yeah, we set visibility to visible so now this is the, the real unzip code. So this is the real unzip code. This is the only code that unzips. Unzip it. The rest is for loading it. Is to show progress, the unzipping progress. So now let's run our project to see. Alright, our project has been compiled. So 
now we pick define we pick define any zip file from anywhere in the app so we're going to pick a file so let me pick this file it will unzip it so it has unzipped so for confirmation let's check the data folder of our smartphone to see that it actually unzips the contents of that zip file to our data folder so now i'm going to locate my data folder in android data So this is my data folder files so you can see it has unzipped it got the timing it has unzipped it thanks for watching please subscribe comment like and share so you can see it has unzipped it you can confirm it by looking at it you can see file has been unzipped thanks for watching please like share and comment